Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Thank you for listening. I haven't been on for quite a while. However, God is bringing us to the end of our journey on earth. We are going to rise with him to our new home very soon. We eagerly wait for the shout and the trumpet and we will be with our blessed Savior forever. The scriptures point to this event, so we are looking for this blessed hope as we all wait for the signs to unfold as we see that these are the end of days. Jesus is our hope, and he will carry us through rough waters. He is worthy of all our praise, and all glory is for him alone. Before I share what is on my heart and a word that I felt I received from Jesus, I want to share this scripture, Psalms 105, 1 through 6, and here it is. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek the, his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders in the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones. And that was the scripture. As we wait for the coming of Jesus, we are to give thanks, talk of his amazing works to friends and family and other people around us while enjoying the glory of his name. We are to rejoice daily, seek the Lord for his strength, and to enjoy Jesus and look for his face. We are also to remember his works and wonders that God has done. What a mighty God we serve. Last night, I heard a shofar. It's a fun story. I was asleep and I woke up hearing a shofar which was playing in the distance. I leaped out of bed looked around the room, out the window with anticipation. It was still in the distance, so I opened my computer to see if the sound was coming from it. It wasn't. I then looked around the room and I saw my headphones on the desk, which I thought I had turned off. I put them on and I could hear the shofar loudly playing. And then I searched for my phone, which was in the other room, and sure enough, it was playing from my phone. This odd event was as if it had were playing music on a channel for some time, but only the shofar woke me up. By that time, I was wide awake, I was standing, and I was praising Jesus. Perhaps that's how we will feel when it really does sound, wide awake spiritually and looking up. I believe as a reminder that we will soon hear the trumpet sound, and we will be raised up to meet Jesus. It was a little preview. Jesus is coming, just as he said. Before I share the word, I want to encourage you that we are getting very close to the end, but it will be just the beginning of our lives with Jesus in our new home. Our battles will be over. Joy and beauty will surround us. All our trials will be done. There will be endless joy complete health and our relationships restored, and Jesus will be with us. We can rejoice at this time in history because it's just a bridge to our real life that is going to that we are going to live in. We will be so free, so joyous, healed, and loved. There is so much to look forward to. We will have Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit around us. What an amazing thought. If you are born again, you have everything to look forward to, and everything is about to change. I want to share a quick word that I felt that the Lord gave me. Please feel free to test all the words, and here is that word. My children, my chauffeur is about to sound, my dearly beloved children. It is written, and it is an event that is about to be fulfilled. My bride is precious to me, and my word is true. Those who oppose the scriptures will be disappointed. 
Those who love my appearing will rejoice at my presence. Many souls hang in the balance at this time. Those whose hearts are wavering between gods of this world and true salvation in my name. Those who trust in me will see their deliverance. Have faith, my dear children. Be aware of this, this season of destiny and embrace me as your Savior without wavering. I am coming for my children and my bride as the scriptures must be fulfilled. And that's what I felt he shared. We can get excited. Keep your ears open, share the gospel, and keep your heart steadfast in him. Keep reading the scriptures about the promise of his coming. As he says, it will bring comfort in these days. And that's from 1 Thessalonians 4.18. This is to remind us that the shofar is about to sound. Keep listening. There, there was a man who dreamed about this. And I will link it either in the description box or directly. I like that. It sounded like what I heard. Thank you for listening. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.